If you or a business you're working with is looking to schedule things, maybe you want customers or clients to book online for fitness appointments, coaching sessions, consulting on gardening tips, whatever it might be, we're going to show you how to create that using Calendly. We'll go through signing up and linking your calendar. We'll connect Zoom, which is super helpful if we're scheduling a meeting remotely over video. We'll configure appointment times. We'll link our website to this Calendly signup page, and we'll test it to make sure everything's working okay. Let's start with signing up. This isn't going to work because we already signed up during pre-production on this video. But if we hadn't, here's what it'd look like. We'd go over to sign up for a Calendly account, and we'll enter our email address. In this case, we have a Google account already, so let's just sign up this way. Your process might be a tiny bit different depending on who your email provider is. But once we're done, all that's left is choosing our Calendly URL. Keep in mind, customers will see this in their address bar, so make sure it's not profoundly embarrassing. Let's continue when we're ready. And we can click through the setup wizard here, which is going to gather some basic information, but we can always come back and change it or add to this a little bit later. And this is what we have by default. What we're going to do is this. We're going to connect our existing calendar to Calendly. And we can do that under account calendar connections. And there's a lot of integrations right here. For us, we'll connect to Google. Now, you might not manage one of these calendars, and that's okay. You don't have to do this part of step one. Again, you can manually control things back in your main Calendly homepage. But that's signing up and linking our calendar. Let's connect Zoom. We're doing this since we'll be offering these coaching sessions over the internet, over video conference. Over in integrations, we'll look for Zoom, we'll click it, and we'll get a notice right here that Zoom needs to be connected. We'll click over to that, but we won't make you sit through this entire part where we'll have to wait a second, pre-approve the app, then press the button that says authorize, except we did, and we showed all of it. And really, that's it, that's connecting Zoom. Let's move on to what is by far the greatest part of all of this, defining appointment times, and the most important part, defining days off. Now that we've connected Zoom, we'll add a new event type. This can differ based on what you're offering. One-on-one -on -one is great for individual appointments, consultations, but group events can be things like Zoom classes for yoga studios, writing workshops, business lectures. For us, we'll do one-on-one. -on -one. And let's define our event name here. Let's call this a coaching session. No, it's like session, but you save a syllable. Shesh? Sesh. Sash. Try saying session. Session. Now save a syllable. Shun. No. For location, we'll choose our option, Zoom. And we can even offer other choices. Maybe we want to also offer phone calls. And there's tons of configurable options here. For us, let's cancel this and move on to description, which we conveniently copy to our clipboard and we'll paste for this video demo. This event needs a link. Let's make sure it's there. Let's choose a color. Purple is great, pink is better. And when we're ready, we'll hit next. And here's that magical scheduling part. We can choose the event duration, how long we want our appointments or consultations to be. We can set a date range. For us, we're okay offering these coaching sessions over the next 60 days. Time zone's going to respect our local time zone, but here's the hours part. Let's say we don't want to offer appointments on Fridays. We can say, I'm unavailable, and apply that to all Fridays. Maybe Tuesdays, we want only half days from 9 a.m to 1 p.m. Again, we can apply just to one particular Tuesday or just apply to all Tuesdays. And the advanced section keeps you from losing your grip on reality by offering things like the frequency of availability, uh, maximum number of appointments you wanna take within a given day, and whether you want to enable a limitation on time travel. And finally, we have the option to make this a secret event. What does that mean? It means if you have your Calendly homepage visible, to people out on the internet, you can hide this event. So they'd need a direct link to the invitation to know about or to be able to schedule this kind of event. And before we move on, this is particularly interesting. You can set questions you want asked, you can set up notifications, cancellation policies, you can customize your confirmation page, and you can even collect payments when someone schedules the event. This is pure magic. This is running a full business online. And when we're ready, we can move forward with the next step, connecting the link, connecting your Calendly event to your Webflow site. From wherever we are in Calendly, let's go home. And from our Calendly home, let's copy our direct link here. 
Now, you can also fully integrate Calendly, and we cover this in detail in another lesson we have on Webflow University. So if you're interested in more deeply integrating Calendly, check that out if you haven't already. For us, we'll make sure this link is copied to our clipboard, and we'll head over to Webflow. And it's pretty straightforward. Let's go into our button, and we'll click the tiny cog icon so we can enter our URL. And all we have to do is paste in the URL. We're right-clicking and pressing Paste. And let's choose to open in a new tab to make it a bit easier to get back to our own site later for users that schedule in Calendly. And of course, let's go up and publish our changes. And that's all we need to do before Miguel switches us over to the last number, the last step. Miguel, this is your cue. Okay, let's pretend it moved to number five because now we're on testing. Let's open up our publish site, press the button we just configured. And just like that, Calendly opens in a new window, a new tab. And we're immediately prompted to book an appointment and check it out. Fridays aren't available. So we signed up for Calendly, we connected our calendar, we connected Zoom, we created a new event and defined a bunch of parameters. We grabbed that link and made sure our button takes us to it in a new tab. We tested our published site and Miguel finally ended the video by cutting to step five. 